Hey everyone, Ollie here. So, should you buy refurbished Apple products? So I've done a few videos on this channel in the past about refurbished Apple products, covering them, basically seeing what they're like. And back market got in touch, they wanted to send me out some Apple products and basically show what it's like buying Apple products, refurbished Apple products from them. So thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Back market is a place where you can buy high quality refurbished products like MacBooks, iPhones, AirPods, and many other gadgets. Back market isn't a second hand website. The devices are pretty much as new and they all come with 12 months warranty as well as 30 days to change your mind. Considering how much e-waste can be produced from tech these days, Backmarket is dedicated in making it easier and a better experience buying refurbished products. So I have two Apple products here. I have an iPhone and I also have a MacBook. Um, yeah, I feel like those are two devices that I feel like a lot of people would consider buying refurbished. When it comes to the price of them, it does vary depending on the condition and at the time of buying. So. If I did put the price on the screen, it might actually be different when it comes to buying it. It might even be cheaper. So make sure to check out the website to see the prices that they have for their devices. We'll first get into the MacBook Air. So this is actually the charger for the MacBook Air because it's not in the box itself. So we'll keep that to the side. And then we have the MacBook Air box itself. So yeah, it literally looks like any other MacBook Air box, as you'd expect. This is the 13 inch M1 chip version. Yeah, 13 inch M1 chip, uh, eight gigabytes of memory and 256 gigabytes of storage. Um, and yeah, the box itself, yeah, it's okay. I mean, it doesn't look new, but at least it's original packaging. I know when you buy Apple refurbished products, it's not original packaging. It's just a plain white box that says Apple refurbished on it. So yeah, you get original packaging when it comes to buying from back market. So here we have the MacBook itself. And when it comes to the condition that you buy the MacBook in, you can actually choose from three different conditions which they have on the website. They have fair, which has some signs of wear and might have some slight scratches, but it doesn't affect the actual functionality of the product. Then they have good, may be very small signs of wear, but not noticeable from 20 inches away. And then excellent, which is pretty much like new, very few, if any, light micro scratches. So I assume this is an excellent one because yeah, there are pretty much no marks on this whatsoever. There's no visible scratches, no dents or anything. It really does look and feel like a new Apple product. Got to give it the sniff test. Yep, smells like an Apple product. <laughs> smells like nice aluminium and yeah, Pretty nice. Um, if we got into the rest of the stuff, so obviously we have a USB-C cable. And also, as you can see, there's no charger in here because the charger was shipped um, separately in this box. And in here we have a 61 watt USB-C charger, which will be more than enough powerful to charge the MacBook Air. So let's get everything out of the way and let's actually have a look at the screen as well. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, let me get my microfiber cloth because I feel like it needs a quick wipe down because there's some dust. Oh, it smells really nice actually. It really does smell like a like a new Apple product. Okay, sweet. So let's have a look at the rest of it then, shall we? So if I look at the keyboard and stuff, it really does look new. Like it looks, it looks pretty much unused. Yeah, there are no scratches no marks on it or anything other than just like, I guess, just from just in transit, dust and things like that. But other than that, it looks absolutely perfect. It actually does look perfect. The screen as well. So I'm just looking at the screen um, in the reflection to make sure that there's no scratches or anything. But not a single scratch on the screen whatsoever. Looks absolutely brand new. One thing I've noticed as well, especially with MacBooks that have been used, is that you usually have sort of, that. well, the edge itself is usually marked up and maybe dented or scratched or whatever. But this one, there is nothing. Literally not a single dent, not a single scratch. It looks perfect, really. I'm not sure how I'd actually be able to tell this between a new one. Like it really does look that new. Another thing I wanted to mention and a reason why you should consider back market is that when it comes to buying a refurbished product, maybe from Apple's website or something like that, finding something in stock can be very, very difficult. Back market usually always has stock and they have an absolute huge range of products as well. You're not just limited to MacBooks or iPhones, you can find AirPods and other sort of devices that they also don't have to be Apple products as well. They have other devices as well. Right, so I have the MacBook completely set up and it works as expected, everything looks great. 
Yeah, the MacBook Air really is such a good machine. Like it is actually such a good laptop. But let's look at the battery cycle and see what the battery health is like. So I have the battery health information in front of me now and it only has a cycle count of nine and it also still has a maximum capacity of 100%. So yeah, this really has barely been used. This is a very tip top condition refurbished MacBook Air. Yeah, I think if you're looking for a used MacBook, I mean, they do have cheaper ones as well. If you don't really care too much about having the latest M1 chip, they do have other cheaper ones on their website. Um, so yeah, this is awesome. Like really good condition. I'm actually super impressed. I was expecting at least a few marks on it, but this is brand new pretty much. Okay, so next up we have the iPhone 13. So let's get into it. Looks like there is no official box for this one. It just comes in this sort of standard white box. There is no proper iPhone box for this. Um, we have the phone itself. So yeah, this one is in midnight. Hopefully you guys can see that, yeah? In a midnight color. Um, we'll get to that in a second. Inside we just have the USB-C, so lightning cable, and the SIM card pin tray thing, majiggy, whatever you wanna call it. Um, but yeah, that's it. Obviously there's no charging brick because you don't get a charging brick with any of the new iPhones anymore. Right, so here we are. Um, yeah, again, not a single scratch on this, as far as I can tell. Not a single mark. It looks new. Like it just looks new even still has this sticker on the front. Nice. And then if we get a microfiber cloth, just wipe it down quickly. Yeah, again, there is not a single mark on this whatsoever. It just looks, uh, apart from dust, <laughs> that's the only thing I can see, dust. I can't see anything else. It looks absolutely new. Okay, so the battery on it is dead. So I'm just gonna give it a quick charge just so we can see what the battery health is like. Be right back in a second. Okay, so I'm back. I've set up the iPhone quickly. I've given it a quick charge as well. And yeah, if we go to settings, battery, battery health, we can see that it's at 100% capacity. So yeah, the battery in this, I guess, is pretty much not used at all. Makes sense really, considering this is supposed to be an excellent condition iPhone. I mean, I've got a lot of fingerprints on it already. That's just one of the things with, with this phone, like with the iPhone 13, it gets a lot of fingerprints on it. And a lot of dust as well. It attracts a lot of dust. Look how dusty that is. Why does it get so dusty? <laughs> um, but yeah. That is pretty awesome. Like it really does look like a absolutely brand new phone. That's really probably not being used. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe this was like a return or something. Um, someone bought one and then just didn't want it anymore. So the question of should you buy refurbished Apple products? I think you definitely should. And back market obviously clearly know what they're doing. If you wrap these products up in all of their original packaging, put them in the boxes and stuff, I wouldn't be able to tell that they're that they're refurbished i literally just wouldn't be able to tell they look completely new to me and yeah the battery health on them is fantastic the screen the scratches nothing like it's just so good there's no scratches on no marks on them yeah i'm really really impressed hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure to check out back market they have a huge array of other products not just an iphone or a macbook that i've got here they have a bunch of other stuff so yeah make sure to check them out i leave a link to them down in the description below Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.